Hello everybody, I hope you're all doing well on this lovely fine day. Welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you're new here. So today's video is going to be what is in my baby's changing bag. So this is my beautiful changing bag. This is from Gem and Bean. I will link everything I can down below in this video. I've had this bag with my first daughter Isla back in 2020. So this bag has really stood the test of time. It's been through one baby, it's now going through my second. It has been thrown in pram baskets, you know, when I'm juggling baby and everything else, thrown on the floor. It's really, you know, it's, it's taken a beating over, um, you know, seeing as you use like a changing bag every single day like when you go out it's really to the test of time it is such a decent bag i absolutely love it it was important for me to have a changing bag that felt like a handbag i absolutely love my bag so i didn't want to lose that bit of my like identity when i became a mum and i was like it's really important i get a really nice um like handbag so yeah this is the one i chose um and yeah so i will show you everything and how i pack it in this bag so first of all the front pockets i don't generally put anything in there unless it's clipped onto my buggy now it's got some clips on the side here and i'll show you how it clips on but yeah so i clip that on my buggy and i normally just put my phone and my keys in the front just so they're accessible when i'm out and about so first thing in here is my purse absolutely love this color as you can tell so it matches close as matching as possible i do like matching like wallet a purse wallet and a handbag so that's always in there my baby is three months old now so this next item or uh, the next two items are something i've recently added to my changing bag and something i make sure i pack when i go out and about um, the first one is a little like mobile pram toy this is called madame butterfly madame butterfly was also my first daughter's and she absolutely loved it and she is a big hit with my second daughter I bought this for a friend's baby as well because he was obsessed with it when I had it out. I don't know what it is about this butterfly, but they absolutely love it. It's got all the sensory, the mirrors, dangly, like crunchy. It's just, it's like a baby's little dream. So I always take that out and about with us in case, you know, she wants to have a little play now. She's more interactive. She doesn't want to get too bored. Also, she likes to hold things to sleep a bit more. Like she likes to play with her blankets and comforters. So I'm at the moment using this one it's a, um, a dummy clip one so you clip it into the dummy it's a bibs one so she just got that in case she just wants a little hold or a little scrunch where i haven't got a blanket because it's too warm but she just wants something for comfort because she likes to like scrunch fall into sleep so in my changing bag now i have a changing mat that folds up which came with the bag as well again three years later and it's still doing really well i always take out a spare dummy and case just to keep it nice and this is the bibs one i just make sure that i always have like a, a case and a dummy she normally goes out the door with a dummy in a in her car seat or pram but i like to have an extra just in case it gets lost or, or dirty always have a spare change of clothes so a sleep suit that normally comes covers all bases whether it's um like a warm day or, or a cold day i predominantly breastfeed but i do also just take out a spare bottle now this is the beautiful like bibs bottle it's quite a small one so i keep that in my bag and a carton of pre-made formula just in case as i said i i, I if you've not watched my compi feeding video i combi feed but i only do formula at bedtime and during the night during the day i will breastfeed but that is just an emergency just in case i keep in my bag i then have a little section of like what i call clean and sterilize so always take a muslin cloth out with you because these babies are sicky i like to take the milton hand sanitizer out with me I at the moment because we are in the summer months I always keep a little bit of um, baby sunscreen in there just like a travel size one because you never know when you you might get caught out in the summer and I also take out the Milton sterilizing wipes now these are really good if you just need to clean up like soothers and teats and give them a sterilization so always keep those in there they're like my little uh, cleaning and health supplies and then of course I take a pack of wipes out with me. I make sure I've got an adequate amount of nappies and some changing back 
little nappy bags in there with me. So I like to keep that all organized in these sections. Then in this back section is for my stuff and I have a couple of hair scratches in there in case I need to whack my hair up. I have a concealer and a lipstick. I have some Dextrose energy tablets and something that I've recently just used and need to replace is a sanitary pad. I would recommend that you always carry one or something you like using with you because you never know when your period's going to come after the birth and you don't want to get caught out and generally as a woman it's good just to keep keep a back up as i said i um i need to replace that because i've actually used them because i've had my first one since birth but always make sure you've got one of those handy in your bag especially if you haven't had your period yet after birth because you don't want to be caught out so the next few items aren't necessarily things that i pack in my handbag but they are items that i make sure i pack when i go out and about for a longer day so not just a little dash to the shops i'm out about for a long period of time so first of all is our white noise machine or toy now these come in so many different varieties you can get like cuddly toys like this one this is the snoo bear i love the sound and it's got loads of different settings and loads of different sounds and i just love that it's cuddly as well isla has the brown one she had that since the baby and i just think it's really nice that even as a toddler she can cuddle it to sleep and have the sound on but yeah there's like plastic clip ones you can get for the pram there's loads of different ones so whatever it tickles your fancy but i do recommend taking a white noise machine out with you especially if you're out for a long period of time you're going out for a meal in a restaurant you need your baby's going to need soothing rather than just you know a little dash so i always have my white noise machine with me i then take my rocket out with me absolutely love the rocket this is something you click onto your pram and it vibrates and it just like vibrates the as you can see that vibrates the pram and helps ba rock baby to sleep rather than you know you're sitting there having to rock baby back and forth everyone like every time i take this out people are amazed by it that haven't seen it and i think it's such a good invention because you know you want to enjoy your meal rather than rocking your baby i can just put LED in a pram put this on and I can go out and enjoy a meal or you know enjoy a chat with friends or a coffee or something like that next up I always make sure I take a blanket with me I may leave this in the car or just in the pram whether it's you know weather dependent but you just in England you don't know when that weather's going to turn so always make sure you take a blanket with you even if it starts off with a really nice warm day and you think they won't need it it's really important to always pack a blanket with you because you just don't know when the weather's going to turn and last but not least is is a baby carrier LED is a baby that likes to be worn a lot so I just never know whether she's gonna be happy in her pram sometimes or if we're out about or I need to like stick her in this I find it very very handy for baby wearing when you've got a toddler as well because you need all the free hands you can get so when I'm having to juggle both of them and say LEDs in the pram and it just might not be working it's easy to just get a LED in the swing and then I can just like deal with Isla as well so I always make sure that this comes out with me whether I think I'm going to use it or not so that is everything I pack for my baby on the general diet as I said it doesn't really change from naught to six months I do add a few toys in around three months six months is when we start weaning so it's going to be a different ball game with snacks with bibs with cutlery and beakers and things like that so i'll probably do an updated version of this video when she turns six months old but please give this video a like if you enjoyed and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in another video goodbye